Chris. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Ooh. You guys ready for the holidays? I think so. I think we got, I think I maybe have one or two more things I got to buy, but but we're mostly good. That's good. How about you? Yeah, I think we're about as set as we are going to be. <laughs> I'm wondering uh, for, do we have somebody for January yet? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I'm wondering if we want to do a you know year end pulse check kind of thing and see where people's minds are at since we've been going for all. It's been a year now since we did the last one. Yeah, our last our last check in I think was, I think it was December last year. Yeah, um, so I was wondering if next month we want to maybe do a pulse check and see. I know, like what is it, black. Allen's company, Black Bod, Black yeah. Bod, can you pronounce it? They went fully remote, right? So yep. not that he tends this one, but yeah. Nope, that's still a, an interesting thing to uh, to uh, talk about. I've got um, I've got another another friend that works at Black Bod also, and so she was telling me a little bit about it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting. Um, she was kind of speculating that some of it might be, be because the CEO doesn't want to have to comply with uh, federal vaccine mandates. But, but so Oh, a, I guess I didn't think about that angle. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, well, could be. Yeah, our last review was December of 20. So almost oh, right. almost the day. Gotcha. Morning, Ed. Yeah. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Hey, Paul. Good morning. I'm going to duck out at 8.30. I have a very packed morning this morning, and I have to do school drop-off, so. Hey, I had to do school drop-off today, too. My husband ditched me this week for work, so I had to play solo parent. <laughs> Such a great game. <laughs> I had to do that to my wife two weeks ago. I was <laughs> meeting back at corporate, so I had to go down yeah. there for the whole week. It was so hard. We had to go out and drink every single night. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you survive. Well, we'll give folks a couple minutes and see if we get a couple more to uh, to uh, join us here. I'll shoot out some reminders too. Looks like we got a big storm coming in. Five to 11 inches over uh, like on Friday into Saturday or something like that. No. I saw a winter storm warning on the thing. I actually got like, an, when I clicked the weather app on my watch, that popped up at the top. I didn't look into it. Their storm watch. Dang it. <laughs> right. Better uh, make sure the snow blowers work it yeah i got <laughs> caught with that yesterday or whatever the other day yeah with that like three inches it was bone dry like i like i put get even put gas into it and it still wouldn't start and i realized it was like so dry that i had to sit there and keep pushing the little bubble thing to like the primer get, get, yeah to get gas in there oh, wait you gotta get an electric snowblower <sighs> Well, it has an electric start, so. Morning, Niels. How are you doing? Good morning, Chris. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see Chris you. Chris. Yeah. Niels. All right. I messaged a few people. Told them cool. to get on. It's like Noah's joining us. We'll wait until maybe five after, and then we'll kick it over to Paul. I don't know what this widget is that's installed on this Windows 10 laptop, but I can't tell if it's light snow, snowstorm, or snow coming. Um, now it says storm watch. It's like ice or something falling this morning, unless it was just coming off the roof.
total snow, snow accumulations of five to 11 inches possible. Really? In this area, like not just north or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They, they like Wisconsin was in, in there too. So I'm not sure where exactly. I, that's what I always hope for. I'm like, maybe it's just be super north of me and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> a, very, a very strict line. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just outside of that 494, 694 loop. It's fine. <laughs> not too far out. I'm like, I'm like two minutes driving out of that loop. Yeah. yeah. As I said that, I realized that Jan Hansen's not within that loop. And so. <laughs> 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 well, you're further out than I am. I think I'm farthest out, though. Although it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Where are you again, at, Ed? Apple Valley. Egan, that line. I grew up in Egan. It's Stillwater, so. Uh... Yeah, Neil's made. Oh, it. okay. There we go. Handily. It's not well, that I got far. five after. So maybe we'll get rolling here. So uh, we got Paul with us today. Paul's going to share um, a game that talks about work in progress limits. Uh, and Paul, I'll just turn it over to you. All right, great. I have a mural link here that I'll share with the team. Once my computer allows me to. All right, I'm going to drop it in the chat. And then I'm going to ask, like, it would be probably better if someone wants to actually drive the game and we share their screen. But um, I'm also happy to, if not. Let me know if you can access that link. I believe I opened it up to all visitors. It gave me a can't, uh, I can't get yeah. access. Try a, a refresh now. Now I'm in. All right. Yup. Alrighty, cool. I'm gonna pull everyone here to me. Um, I broke this out. Um, I've done this with you know a, a big group where we break it out in three to four people, but when we have a small group, we can just uh, keep it to one team here. And so under the instructions, you know, I have to split three to four group or people per group, but you know, we're so small, you know, I'll go ahead and share my screen and I can drive. now to make sure I'm sharing the right screen. You can see the mural board? Yep. All right, cool. So we click the link here to the whip game. It is, uh, I know Chris, you said you were familiar with this. Has the rest of the group seen this? Familiar with it? I it's um, oh, it's a, a great teaching game um, or can be used for teaching made by a lean ability and actionable agile. Um, so, but we can jump right in here. So we're going to start on day 43. Now I'm going to go here and change this cog so we can edit our whip limits and enforce them, maximize whip and uh, use all of our workers here. And we're going to change our whip limits here to four, six, four for the first round. And now how this game works is um, you see there's the green, blue, and red. They are 
because they kind of align to those specialties. And you can apply, you can use the um, like a green player in a blue area, um, but their work is basically like their um, the amount they contribute per se is cut in half. Um, when we hit begin work, what kind of happens in the background is uh, uh, for every player, there's a dice roll and uh, it'll apply that to these little boxes here, as you see when we play. And if a player is outside of their color um, column, that dice roll will be uh, cut in half. Hmm. And so now we have, um, so we have to move the finished work into active columns. And these cards, you can move up and down to kind of see how the, the work that's involved in them. And then, one in here and then here's where I just why well, I asked if someone wants to drive I you know I, I know how to play the game kind of the, the outcome so if I move the players myself it might like skew the results so where do you think we should put uh I'll start with these green guys where should we throw the green guys so j j just to level set again right so like I think the way that I thought about this when I played, and it's, it's been a while s since I've seen this, but I thought of like red as like analysis and blue as like development and green as testing, j just to put it into kind of yes. something easy from that standpoint. And then right. the little boxes represent like how much work is needed in each of those states. So that first line is always how much red work is needed. The second line is always how much blue work is needed. And the third line is always how much green work is needed. Um, so you get like an idea of scope essentially by looking at each of those boxes. Did I have that right? That is right. That's a very important detail that I had on the board and forgot. Um, and we also here we see the um, um, item aging along that the work has been in progress. This has been pulled from the, the backlog here. And is a day of work like one of those boxes? A day or... of work is like when I hit begin work and it does the yeah. dice roll. Yeah. Um, that is a day. And we play till day 56. Okay. Did I, did I miss what the little boxes on the card are? Maybe I missed that. Uh, the boxes is kind of the scope of work. Uh, Chris, thanks for <laughs> explaining that part. Is the scope of work. So say like the, the top line is going to be red. Right. That's how many, um, like based on the, the roll, the roll of the dice that happens kind of in the background how many of those boxes get filled every time we click this button here. Okay. And, and then when it moves over here, it'll, we'll start filling up the, the blue is the middle row. Gotcha. And then uh, green will be the bottom row. Thanks. So I think if I was thinking about this, I would want to be getting some stuff done in green. So I'd probably throw at least one person in green. One green person into green. Um, I mean, to uh, get it done fast, can you put more than one person on a task too? You, you sure can. Yep. So that would be another option is like throw another green person there. Um, looks like there's a lot of blue work in general. Um, and then we've got a blocked red one there too that needs somebody t t to work on it also. I don't know. What's the group think? Yeah, can we, can we do that? Can we put a red person on there? On the blocked one? Yep. Is that like wasted time or do like to process the blocker then you, you have to like kind of chug through it? To process the blocker and then any like say there is five um, blocks here on the blocker and you roll like a a seven, the extra oh, two will get gotcha. applied to the next to gotcha. the card behind it. So I'll um, throw some people around here to get us moving. And we will begin work. And you can see how it is applying the, oh, oh we almost got that guy done. Then here we might get some extra. 
and then you will get these pop-ups occasionally. Um, I th believe it's on day 50, you'll get one to change the whip limits, which for this uh, scenario, we won't want to do um, for this activity. So now we're meeting all of our whip limits here. Um, we can move some of our players around. Will they automatically go to like the next task? Like if we leave those those two red people there, they'll almost certainly finish that one. Will they, they move will. on to the next one? Or they won't automatically. We will have to move them ourselves. So it seems like it probably makes sense to move at least one of those person people onto the next one and let let one person finish that one up. Mm -hmm. Given that we've got a blocked and green, I'm wondering if it makes sense to move one of those green people over to blue just to make some progress in the blue stuff. And the block card? Clear that blocker? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Other thoughts? Down there. <laughs> We didn't get much there's, help on that. Is that green one? Oh, okay. <laughs> All this change. So now we completed some work and we have it sitting in uh, our queue state so we can move those over. And then we what have the, fix. Uh, yeah, what's the, uh, the uh, two points in the yellow card? So um, I... Um, that is a, like, in this game, the, the points, you'll see some cards come through with points and that is meant to like represent a value. And, uh, you know, the idea is that you will begin to prioritize those and fix 53 is a ticket that comes through that has to be completed by day 53. Otherwise you kind of, you lose the game. Hmm. Otherwise you lose the oh. game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that has to get moved up in priority then in the backlog, potentially. So like, like the analogy I would think about there is um, there's, we're building something for holiday. And if we don't get it done by, by a Black Friday, then oh. our company essentially goes out of business. And like th this being a fix, I assume is like a critical bug that is necessary for us to launch our website on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or whatever. That is great. So... so I'd be inclined to move that one over. Yeah. And put it put it above that above you. Well, I actually have to pull one more in too. Just to meet our whip limits here. So then we, you know, we definitely want to throw some red guys here to make sure that is completed. Yeah, I'm not sure that green guy helped us very much in the blocked. <laughs> no, I'm actually really surprised that too. That, that means that these guys both rolled. I mean, everyone rolled a one essentially. Yeah. Which I, I don't think I've seen that before. Everybody was stuck, and then and then the new guy didn't know what the heck was going on either. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to wait All for right. the architect, and he's not available. <laughs> Ah, we got it unblocked. All right. I'm done. All right. And then uh, after every, or not every, but almost at, at every other day or so, uh, you get one of these end of notice things to provide just a little bit of uh, context to what's coming through. And here we see that the chain block is coming through, uh, you know, gives a bit of the value. And then you'll see it over here where you now have five points to gain. Well, we've got we've got those two finished ones. We can move to the next to the next bucket. Yeah, I'd be inclined to move that that fixed one up. Yep. Right. Um, for e sake, like e here, you can move it up, or you can just kind of like. Place your guys. Yeah, there. yeah, that's fine. I'm, yeah, I guess I. What I mean is prioritize it. Yeah. Right. Right. 
And that one, do you that, think chain, we should... that chain one, that one, it doesn't have a, t a timeline associated with it, but it has value with it in the sense that our process is more efficient. Is that what I understood? Right. That's correct. So pull that one into the queue, right? <laughs> All right. And where should we place our guys? Green onto the 13 day one and mm -hmm. blue onto the blocked and red onto the blocked. Well, I don't know. What, maybe we need to get that fixed done before the blocked. Yeah, so we'll, we got three people, Neil. So maybe we can put one on the fixed and two on the blocked. Potentially. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's a pretty good good chance we could roll a two. Um, and I don't, I don't know what the die roll is, but but it's. It seems like it's more than uh it's feeling than optimistic uh, and i mean looking at the uh, the uh, timeline we need to get it done by day 53 and so even if they only roll them one you know We're they'll still, okay. still be done by day 48 and that still gives us time to move it to green and have them do the same thing and yep. get it done yep. how about uh our red team here blocked blocked swarm yeah, that one there I think that makes sense. All right, so we did a roll. Survey says. <laughs> Got our fix done. And yeah, unblock block. that. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. You guys are working working smarter, not harder. Yeah, there. Uh -huh. Doesn't show cards that are still cool. Okay, cool. All right. And then we progress the work. That's in our Q states here. I'd probably split up our green folks again, move one down yep. real thick. 100%. And what about our blue team? Um, one on the top and two on the bottom. I think that's what I would do. It seems like if you if you outroll the work that's left there, like you kind of lose it, right? Like there's mm -hmm. not a way to apply it. So it seems like you're gambling a little bit with, do I think they'll get this done or not? I should, uh... Do you want to split? <laughs> That should we want to split like, the rug? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, what do you think, Noah? Uh, I was just saying, do we want to split the red as well? I could go either way. I'm worried. I'm worried we're going to run out of work for blue here. Um, one option might be to move one of the red folks to W, just since there's only two analytics things there, or two of the of the red items there. Mm -hmm. And see if we can get get that one done to at least have that push through to blue. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good idea. Look at that. I'm in. All right. Roll the die. Oh. Oof. Call Chris. You guys. Yep. Dang. It's a big roll. <laughs> a fatal hey. error has occurred. Yeah, so fatal error has occurred and the customers can't use their service. And it's no good. I believe that it is a hacker attack, but you don't know exactly how to solve the problem as soon as possible. The situation is serious. Deliver the emergency ticket as soon as possible. All right, top of the queue. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, so move We're done, so. our work over from the queue states, and then we want to tackle that outage. I would. Do we want to throw both our red folks there? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I think leave right. the one green on fixed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, none of those are worth anything more than the other. And, and we can't and we can't put a blue one on the outage one, right? Like we can't hope that we roll a high number and the red complete their blocks and the blue guy can start working on it. The the blue you can um put our colors into their different columns but they are only worth half the roll so okay. there's no way there's no way to like have the blue person start working on the blue tasks this on this day it would only count as red right like if we move dragged over right. to red okay okay thanks yeah that's what i was trying to figure out if there's a way to like cheat the system a little bit <laughs> so 
Um, thinking about the stuff that's in green, I think we're we're good with the one green get person on fix. If we think about that other green person, we can work at top down or age wise, or we could have the green person work on the one that's closest to being done, which is the the bottom one there. Just yeah, I was gonna say T. I was gonna suggest T. Let's do that. Throw the other the, green one on T. On the T, okay. Yeah. Then what do we want to do with blue? Blue's only got one ticket there. I feel like throw two folks on there, and then maybe it makes sense to have green get a head start on something somewhere. I mean, the other blue get a head start on either one in the green column or one in the red column. I don't know. Or we can throw them all on, on, on a W and have a much better chance of getting that one 100% done. I like one on the outage. Here, right? One on the outage. On the outage as a a little bit of a hedge. Yeah. Safety blanket. Throw the other blue on W. Yeah. All right. Oh, I thought we'd get there on T. Here we go. We've got our stakeholder coming in, making sure we get uh, making progress on fix fifty three. We just finished. Jokes on yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for reaching out. Be happy to know that we completed it. Yes. All right. Moving our Q states along. Now we got a blocker on that T. So we made a little progress there and you know, one step forward, two steps backwards, it looks like. And That's our true. outage is moved to development and we still got a couple of blocks up front on our analysis state. All three blues on the outage? Or do we yeah. want to take one and put yeah. it on a blocker on another item? And both these green guys tackle that blocker. Yeah. All right. Both red on the top blocker. And... I might I might be inclined to put those red folks on that chain block one just because it's more points. Oh, it's got points. There's also um, if I'm looking if I'm looking at the stuff in the backlog like double A double B double C, like I, I'm starting to add up blocks in my head and looking at how many blocks does it take to get something done versus how many points is it worth, right? Mm -hmm. If we're if we're trying to maximize our, you know, like our goal isn't to do more work. Our goal is to, to deliver more more value with the least amount of work. And so, like CC there, gets us two points for six units of work, and BB gets us five points for six, eight, ten, eleven units of work. So like you could start doing like math on these and actually figure out which one mathematically is the smart one to work on. I don't know how hardcore we want to go on that. I mean, yeah, if you're looking at like, if you're looking at um, effort versus value, both uh, actually chain block, double A, double C, I think are all about the same. It's three times the points in effort yeah, in number of blocks. Favor the shortest job. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's WSJF. It's WSJF, yep. And it's I think CC. if you're looking at that, I think BB actually ends up being the most, the highest weighted, shortest job. Oh, Which really? Is, of those four. B, B, because it's only 11 blocks of work for five points, where like chain block is 15 blocks of work for five points, and AA is nine blocks of work for three points, and CC is six blocks of work for two points. Yeah. BB. Going with BB. That's my vote. And then I would say, given that there's a, that most of the work here is analysis, I would throw both of the red folks on that one. I think. Yes, I was going to for a discussion there too. I was going to throw out CC as the one because it's like we're getting lots of like these yellow cards, and so if like our cadence is that one's going to be coming like tomorrow or the next day so getting something small through would be more advantageous if we're planning around those outages 
All right. Well, I don't. It can't move backwards. Nope. Well, all right. We, we have Too committed, bad. committed We're to it. <laughs> yeah. All, all right. right. How should we uh, place our final uh, blue guy here? Four cards there. Do we want to move any of the red folks off of the work that they're on? Like, I'd be inclined to move. Like, I don't, I don't know how the blockers, how the blocked ones penalize us, I guess, but if we think BB is delivering value, I might, I, I would think about throwing both of the red folks on BB. Yep. Um, I'm in agreement. Yep. Let it burn. BB. <laughs> Let it burn. <laughs> All right. How about final, our final blue guy? We could throw him on BB too, right? Just for Okay. See what we got. I gotta go. Let's work green. This has been fun. All right, Ed. I like this. See you later. Yeah. See y'all. Well, I had... Have a happy snow. Happy snow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All, All right. right. All for grass, stuff. our final, our finished stuff. I think our, we'll... our, our outage is probably our, our uh, top priority. So totally. do you want to put both green people there or do we you know literally roll the dice and see if we can get it in here? <laughs> I, I'm inclined to put them both there just to make sure in case we get a low roll that we're not that's good with me yeah. all right put a blue guy in BB I suppose we could finish pulling and work before we allocate but we got a lot of blocked work out there for sure do you yeah, I wonder if we could maybe put two of the blue folks on one of the green blocked ones. Sounds good. Let's see if we can make a little progress on one yeah. of those. And then I would lean towards the two red people putting onto the chain block item. Yeah. And then bring in CC. Do we have to? Oh, I suppose. Do we have to be we don't I mean, if it's a if it's a whip limit, then I assume we can be under it. It it, it does um, force you to pull in a fourth one. Okay, oh. then I would probably pull in CC. Yep, it's a whip yeah. code. You say CCs the play? That's my vote. Sounds okay. good. Hey, look at blue. You're doing some good work on that black one. Hell yeah! That were. That boys. Oh, that was a decent round. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is the notice about increasing the whip limits, which um, for the sake of this game, uh, between this and round two, we're going to leave them be. Okay. So I'll progress our finished work. We have our backlog items. Well, I think we need at least one green person on BB. Yep. We could uh, put the other green on the the block that's not got anything done on it, and leave a blue on the block that's almost unblocked. Yeah, there's there's work under that blocked oh, yeah. one that the blue folks are on 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 Q. Like there's there's green work that needs to be accomplished there too. I might be inclined to move, like to put two of the blue people onto blockchain. The green, the uh, the green person that's not allocated right now to Q. Like this. We can... Yeah, I guess I'm debating on that. The the blue person that's on Q right now. Yeah, I kind of figured if if we leave oh, him on Q, do you think he can unblock it? Like, if he unblocks it, will the green automatically start working on the stuff below it? Yeah, Q? if there's okay. uh any rollover like uh, will go uh, be applied to the card below sure. it. Yeah, to, to Q, like how it's set up right now, no work will happen on S or W. That's right. But, but I think I'm okay with that. I and, think then, the same. and then on red, what do we think on red? If we, and we've, we've got to pull in a ticket too. Yeah. Yep. Well, grab the ones with points. Hey, 
Yeah. Yep. Um, do we put both the reds together or do we split them up? I'd vote for splitting them to keep Where'd the flow them? going. I say split. CC and AA. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I'm good with that. Let's see what happens. All right, roll the dice. Big roll, big roll. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> yeah, that's what All I right. Think. Q is done. Yeah, they cleared the blocker and completed the work. All right. BB think? got a bad roll. Yeah, it did. <laughs> all right, so there's a replenishment meeting, and uh, all relevant stakeholders met to update the order of the work. We now have some new tickets coming in AABB and CC. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, it's working on them, right? <laughs> yeah, that one's a bit delayed. I haven't seen that one come in that late before. All right, let's move our finished stuff over, see where we're at. I think we need our blue folks to to help out in other, other columns at this point. Yeah. Get something There's unblocked some... in red, maybe. We got a lot of stuff hanging out here for a long time. Yeah, too. that's true. 12 yeah. days. Yeah. Our no, blockers no. over here on the left have been there for quite a while as we... well. I think we leave the one person on on AA and the one person yeah. on BB. I think where they are is fine to finish those up. Yep. I'd put at least one one blue person on CC. Yeah. We can roll the dice on if yeah. if we need two. Mm -hmm. Should we but, swarm on S a little bit or the blocked one W? A a green one or what color on that W? I was thinking the a green and an extra blue guy. Okay. The min maxer in me wants to know, like, do we get, like, is it better to go for points like chain block or is it better to go for stuff that's aged? Like, like, are we penalized on old stuff or, or does it not matter and delivering the, the higher values more valuable to us? You know, I, the, the lens I look at it through at is I want to just create a steady flow of work being completed so i look at item age okay so we've got another blue and another red throw them on maybe you sure yeah blue's gonna be a little blue's a little starved for for a work right now yeah so getting stuff done i think that would be helpful do we have to pull one into red or? Oh, we sure do. Which one of those do we like? Um, yeah, four days left. Why? Yeah, I think why. I'm counting from counting blocks. It's the smallest. All right, W's on block. Wow, I'm on blue. Nice. Right. You're my boy, blue. <laughs> <laughs> So here, it you know recommends uh, running a retro, and for the sake of time here, we'll skip that. But that's a good combo to have um, with the team that you may be running this exercise with. I'm gonna progress our completed work, and now we got three blocks up front. Wow! And we got some old work sitting in green as well. Are probably wondering what's going on there. We have more important clients that are paying us more money. That's what you know, <laughs> yeah. happening. That is exactly what's happening. So a green or two on chain block. Yeah, I'd throw at least one there. We got one there. We want to leave the blue guy here. Or should we move oh, him? No. You, can, you can probably go away, right? You can't do anything. He does add to the roll. If yeah. he's if he's working in the green column, he just works half as fast. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's meant to kind of uh, model the yeah. you know, T shape. Not super skilled. Yeah, I'd, I'd right. take him off W. I think I'd put one at least one blue on AA, and you know, if we're on day fifty three and going to a day fifty six, we've got to try to get. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like we've got to try to get stuff done at this point. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Would you want to I put the other? blue on a blocked one or would you want to put the blue on say s 
I yeah, I'd want to put them. I think I would. I would think about: Do we even want to try on U, R, and Y to get them through the uh, the uh, chain at all, or do we just focus on getting the stuff that's in blue and green done? Like CC. <laughs> Try to collect two points. Here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, if we want to make if we want to make progress on like you, then I would I would probably put the other red on you, and yeah. move the, move the blue that we have on you to like AA if we were worried about it, or we can move it on to S and see if we can get a, that one closer to a to a done. But like, I would want to. I want to clear out that that a green column. I guess if I'm thinking about this. Yeah. 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 Because I feel like it's gonna be a bottleneck here pretty soon. If we're not yeah. careful. We got a roll moon. Red. I think Z. Z. Yeah. Sure. It's interesting that the game is set up to have you like you have to pull over four items. I think that's interesting. Yeah. For right. Red. Uh, Wait, yeah. It it's a thing. It's kind of a. Uh, well, what's the what do we got here? Yeah, we crushed that. Don't you worry about fifty-three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I would take I I would take our blue folk our our blue person off of S. <laughs> yep, and I would put a green there for sure. Mm -hmm. You want two? I think just one. Yeah. We had higher rolls lately. Like we have. I'm like we're bound to have a lower roll here eventually. Yeah, right? that's the way, I'm pretty sure that's the way probability works. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put them on S. Says, says every gambler ever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then a couple of blues on AA, or did you say UU, which have been hanging out there for quite a while? Yeah, I'd put them. I think I would put them both on you. Yeah. And kind of roll, kind of roll the dice there a little bit, and then. Yeah, I mean, right if we're there. trying to min max this, right? Like, like, do we put a red on each of those on AA and U just to make sure that we get all those all those done, and just assume that we're not going to touch anything else? Um, but if this is. If I'm thinking about this as running further than than a day 54, I'd probably put them both on R. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Agreed. Well, we're just trying to get to 56. Is that right? Right. So it's, yeah. it's again. So we have three more rolls. Or so actually, you, two more. Do you treat it knowing the, the rules of the game, knowing that you're going to be done after 56? Or do you just kind of keep, you know, slogging through like you're going to do this forever? Right. A great point. I almost wonder if I should introduce that in the beginning or not. Sorry, tell people 56 is the last day. Yeah. Well, I think it definitely it definitely influences my behavior knowing that. Yeah. For sure. Does. Yeah. I'll say you would think and about I it differently. Game it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, since we know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Then I'd throw one. Yeah. If if we care, I'd throw one on double A and one on you. Okay. I'd make sure we, I'd make sure we get those these last three tickets that are in the green and the blue columns done. Yeah. Sweet, we got S done. Look at that. Check analytics lately. No. Yeah, like we don't even have enough time, right? It it's a minimum of one day in each column, so like we don't even have enough time to get anything else moved all the way over. So we oh. could, you know, we could work on un unblocking stuff for the sake of it. But yeah, but if we put two greens we get on that one done, yeah, yep. two two greens on you, sure. put all three blues on on, on like A. This. Are you thinking that you want that full roll of the green on both? And sure, yeah. And then I guess I don't. You know, we've got. We're gonna have two more days to run, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think this may, if I recall, this is the last one. But I'm not sure. Can you? Is it? Are you able to move the blocked stickies? Just oh, so, there, yeah. so you can kind of see behind so it. So you can kind of see behind it. Yeah. Yes, you got okay. four more in R. There's a lot of 
I couldn't remember what how many days or what the cubes were on those. Yeah, that one's been there for 14 days. So why is why is not as old, but it has less analyt it has less red work mm -hmm. underneath underneath the block. Mm-hmm. I mean, if this is our last day and and we wanted to be sure that that we were getting stuff done, I would probably I would probably spread um, our last folks over the items that are in the uh, green column and make sure that we get them done. Everyone. Yeah. Mob programming. Throw them all at it. Hey. The game ends tomorrow. Right. The game ends tomorrow. There you go. Well, now I guess I would throw everybody at our blocked items and <laughs> see if we can oh, get really some stuff any. unblocked. All right, this one's more ceremonial than anything. Oh, so close. So close. Look at the analytics. All right, so now we can have some fun here oh and look at here is our item aging. And what this can tell us is you see here at the bottom is our our columns that we have named red active red finish. We have our Q states and for blue and green. And what and then we would also go check out our cycle time scatter plot. And so what this is telling us here is that 85% of the time, our work, we can say takes 14 days or less to move through our, our workflow. One item that is. Right. Yeah, it, it's you have 85% confidence that any given ticket is going to be done within 14 days. Hmm. And then our item aging, what this, this is one of my favorites. Um, what this can tell you here is say you have, you know, with 85% confidence, we know work will go through in 14 days, but you have something like here hanging out that is now been in the flow for six days. That's a, you know, a leading indicator that something might be going on there. And we may, should we right size that? Should we swarm it? I mean, how can we kind of get that back up to that expectation that we've set, you know, which, you know, in a, a Kanban world, is, they refer to uh, the service level uh, expectation. So, so Paul, the, uh, the uh, dots here, what it's, it's, it's like a red, yellow, orange, green scorecard mm -hmm. for the likelihood of getting it done within your 85% confidence number. That's right. Yep. And so, it, yeah, it's that indicator that something um, that we might take a closer look at it. Well, that guy up at 16. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That was uh, R. I think that was the one that sat there. That we bailed it out until the end. Right. That ain't gonna happen. And so for the game itself, what and I'll just quickly do this. We can save these. And I work with groups. Save both. I would go back here and plot these down. Um, and this could be a good teaching moment for, you know, to walk them through item aging, um, and as that can be, you know, a leading indicator and then how cycle time is a lagging indicator because work has to, you know, be completed to get it, but it can inform, you know, when someone asks, when will it be done? You can look at this and you get, you know, depending on the amount of risk that you're willing to take. You can say that, you know, with 85% confidence, we know we can get work done in 14 days. One item through our workflow. 
And then it, uh, you see this downwards trend here mm -hmm. until about right here. And then it becomes pretty, uh, and it's scattered all over the place. What, what do you think happens here at this moment? What do you think these two items are? When you think back? Like that it takes through the outage? Mm-hmm. And so we knew that those were our priority. And so we, we prioritize those above all else. But then the other work, as you can see, um, kind of quite literally on the scatter plot showing it gets a bit scattered. Do um, you think that's because these were prioritized and we focused and swarmed on these while this other work kind of hung out there for quite a bit? Yeah, we maybe weren't optimizing for a flow, right? Like, I think that's what the uh, the takeaway for for me here is is like, what is that thing that you actually care about? Yeah, optimizing mm -hmm. for. So where's all the points that we want? Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the, right, the points are you know meant to reflect yeah value so that they do get prioritized in the flow of work. And oh, I move that white line. Because I mean, to Chris's way point, over here. We we weren't optimizing for flow. We were optimizing for for points yeah. on it on occasion. Mm -hmm. Right. And here's an example from a different um, time that has been played. And we changed the whip limits to two two two. And here I'll zoom in. Oh, I can block this piece. So I click doing that. Here you can see we were at 15 items with that 85% confidence level. And here we were able to get down to 14. I do not like that new feature there. And so I, I have found it, um, this game and having them run through it with a higher whip limit and then a shorter whip limit um, pretty valuable, especially if you're getting like, uh, a bit of, you know, like a, a response to whip limits that people think it, it would be really restrictive and, you know, actually prevent flow from happening because it does feel counterintuitive, you know, like, what do you mean? Like, if I'm not working on less items, then less is going to get done. You can actually show here that, you know, and if we were to look at like the throughput histogram, we would actually be getting more done per unit of time. And that's about it. That's a, a wrap on the game. What's What's interesting to me is like our whip limits were four, six, and four, and I felt like we always had more work. We were always closer to the whip limit in red and green, even uh -huh. though those had the you know, those had the, the lower whip limits. Like we never were close to having six things in blue. Mm -hmm. Blue was always, if anything, blue was starved for, for a work more than anything else. Yeah, right. Why do you think that might be? I think there's the, the uh, con constraint of having to start. And I think we weren't necessarily always focused on finishing. I'm getting stuff from green to to a done, right? Like when I walk through a board like this with with a team, I normally start over on the right, and it's it's like how do you get the stuff that's here done? And maybe we should have been moving some of the blue folks over to green more often, especially early, to get green a little bit clearer before pulling more stuff in. One thing that I observed was we left. We uh, a lot of blocked work in red for quite. I was a thinking time. the same thing. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. And so that that you know that that downstream then blue was kind of hanging out, wondering where the heck's all the development work.
we might have put more effort into the blocked items if there was more reason to. I don't think many of the, I'm trying to think back, how many of those you know, timed items or about high valued items were blocked compared to the non-valued items that were blocked? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the, the ones with the extra qualifiers like that, points or, or you know, fix or outage, those are never blocked, right? Right. So we kind of just focused on the stuff that we're that we thought would be priority. Right. If we had unblocked those, could we have maybe worked on more of those pointed items? Maybe. It might be, I mean, time, how much, however much time you had, but it might be neat to kind of play the game in a couple of ways, having those different mindsets in place. So the one where you're mm -hmm. focused on the valued items and then doing what you were just talking about, Paul playing again and putting more focus on the blocked items just to see what would happen if you did mm -hmm. play it out that way and then compare them. Yeah, because we weren't focused yeah, on quantity. We were focused on quality. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could also see like having somebody, like just one person playing product owner and just prioritizing the backlog and that's it. And, yep. and then basically saying, I want you to work top down on, on the order that everything's in there. So if something's yep. in there and it's at the top of your of your list, I want you to focus on getting that done. And then as we add something like when chain block or fix 53 came in, we'd add it to the bottom of red with the expectation that the uh, team's gonna get the top stuff in red done first mm -hmm. and get to that one in order, essentially. But that might've been interesting. That'd yeah. be interesting as I think about it. Yeah. I guess, Chris, if there was a, if you had a big enough group since the board set up here to do breakouts, maybe each breakout could have a different kind of scenario you know, one has a product owner, one has the focus on black, one has the just do whatever you want and then kind of compare them. That might save on time. I don't know. Different ways to do it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a fun game. One that has helped me introduce, you know, concepts of flow and, um, getting teams excited about, you know, experimenting with whip limit and viewing cycle time and using cycle time to inform, you know, like future iterations yeah. and kind of leaving, you know, the, the weaponized velocity kind of mindset and using, you know, like a more actionable data to inform those future iterations first and leaving velocity and story points like you know within the context of the team and so that that's they're, they're applied in a, a more beneficial way for the team to kind of understand you know are we thinking about the work the same way versus you know upper like leadership and management thinking that velocity is a, a great indicator of future trends yeah, you may have mentioned it, and I apologize if you did. Is there a tool or something you use to once teams use Kanban to actually use that in real life? Like, uh, I'm assuming you may use Excel um, at a bare bones, but is there anything that mm -hmm. you've used to track actual work as they work in like Jira or Trello or whatever the tool is? So this tool here, Actual Agile, is um, this twig game the the work in progress game is a tool to show how whip limits can be applied but actual agile is actually uh, a, a plugin that can be used in jira yeah oh, it does cost money of course um but oh, there is um and it's basically it you can plug it what we see here this is basically what you get from it um but you can do Monte Carlo simulations, you know, flow efficiencies, um, throughput histograms. It, it's it's a great tool. But there is um, a gentleman named uh, Troy McGinnis who provides a lot of this and for free too. It's like the greatest. It's amazing. 
Um, and I can share that link out about uh, how you can export your JIRA data into the Google Sheets that he created. And you can uh, create these kind of views within the, the Google Sheet. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, I know we're about at time here. Yeah, thanks, Paul. This is great. Um, yeah. I think for for uh, January, we're going to plan kind of like um, our our annual retrospective. Uh, we did it in December last year, but we'll do it in 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 uh, January, thinking back on 2021 and um, how we want this um, this meetup to uh, keep keep going on. What does that look like, especially as um, you know, companies are making decisions about back to office or 100% remote and all that kind of thing. So, um, but look for that uh, invite for for a January. I'll get uh, this published out on our our website. And if anyone's got any other games that they want for February or beyond, uh, just just feel free to reach out to me, Marissa, Noah, Ed, uh, anyone, and we'll we'll help you figure that out. So thanks a lot, Paul. Appreciate you. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Paul. This was great. That's what I was I can, uh, Thank you. I'll share it too if anyone's interested in it. Uh, an export of the board where you can like upload the the mirror board into your own instance and sure. use it yourself. Awesome. Yeah. If you Love can it. send me that link, that'd be great. I'll make I'll make sure to share that out. All right, great. Thank Have you. a good one, everyone. Enjoy Happy the snow. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.